Dear colleagues, this is a very nice case for beginners. This is fecal emulsification of a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. By this time, all the incisions have been made. Now, capsulorexis is to be done. In this case, I am introducing the cystitum 26 gaze bent needle through the main incision and raising the capsular flap like this. Now, I will use the uterita forceps. I will hold this capsular tag with uterita forceps, go anticlockwise and do a C, C, C. Continuous curvilinear capsular axis. The axis tended to go to periphery at around 2 o'clock. I could retrieve it easily. Now, hydro dissection. BSS is passed underneath the anterior capsular rim. We could see that the fluid wave goes to the other side. The nucleus is tapped, and we can see that the fluid wave comes along the equator anteriorly, and the nucleus rotates very nicely. Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. The machine, FACO machine being used in this case is Oatly Cataract 3 FACO machine. The tip is introduced, bevel down, then it is turned and the bevel is made up. And now I make two, three sculpts. Now just engage it there and chop it. Now I hold it here and chop. This nucleus is very brittle and it gets divided very easily. The beginners should remember that you have to hold it very nicely. Uh, that means you engage the teeth by using ultrasonic energy and immediately after engaging into the substance of the nucleus, you come back to position 3, that is just the vacuum mode or aspiration mode. You just apply vacuum, no energy, no ultrasonic energy, only aspiration. And thus, you can hold the nucleus very nicely and you can chop it. FECO power used in this case was 60%, chlorate was 45 and vacuum was 450. This is the last nuclear fragment. I am waiting for it to come to the aspirating port and then I bring it to the center and then I emulsify it. That's it. Now we can see a very nice red glow in this case. Viscolastic substance is injected and now I am going to use a Simco cannula. 23 gauge Simcoe cannula to remove this cortical matter. It's very easy to remove the cortical lens matter with Simcoe cannula. You can use bimanual IA. It's a matter of practice, whatever you practice a lot. Now, I'm going through the side port and remove the cortex from the sub incisional area. That's it. Now we can see some cells sticking to the posterior capsule that is this lost by fluid wave. We must polish the posterior capsule. We must not leave those cells. So, let us see what I am waiting for. This is the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. I direct the jet of fluid towards those cells and see how nicely the cells get dislodged and the capsule gets polished. This can be called hydro polish. You are using hydro, that is water, to polish the posterior capsule. Now, a little bit of enlargement of the main incision, and in this case, I am using a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens and it is being 
implanted under irrigating fluid. The irrigating fluid is keeping the antechamber formed and the lens goes into the capsular bag. This is moxifloxacin. And now the sideboards, the stab incisions are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these openings. And now see how beautifully the viscoelastic substance from corneal endothelium comes out in this higher magnification. These are the viscoelastic substance which got stuck to the posterior aspect of the cornea that is corneal endothelium. In this view we can see the rexis it tended to go to periphery at 2 o'clock and it has been nicely retrieved. That's it. The case is done. The antechamber is formed and the case is closed. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in your practice.